Hello and welcome to No Excuses MTB and Weight Loss. My name is Mary Fran and you are here with me today and we are going to be talking about my last weekend weight loss and some of the things that I'm really struggling with. This week was very emotional in my journey. So let's get to it. But before we do that, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate the support that I get from here and I would like to get some more so go ahead and take care of that. Exercise this week was a little bit spotty. I did get a few walks in at lunch as evidenced by this video and we did get one bike ride in. On the second day of the weekend we wanted to get a bike ride in but we had a few errands and a few things to do and we just ran out of time. So we spent some time at the Halloween store and had fun there. And we also strolled through the antique shop. So we weren't totally inactive. We just were not super active. The other day I found myself in the shower and I was in a state of panic. I was thinking about the fact that I had lost two pounds last week but I still had two pounds left to go to lose my vacation weight. And as I thought about it, I started to think about a previous vacation that I had been on. And that vacation came right after I made my goal weight. That vacation was fabulous. I enjoyed myself. I went to a friend's wedding and at the friend's wedding, she was like, well, you've got to have cake. It's my wedding. So I ate a piece of cake and that cake started the downward spiral. When I came back, I had gained about five pounds. I was never able to recover that five pounds. Never. My weight just kept going up and up and up until I found myself back at around 250 pounds, which is kind of where I stayed for quite a few years. I would lose a few, gain a few, lose a few, gain a few, but that's where I stayed. I never recouped from that vacation. And that caused me to panic because I'm like, what if this vacation did the same thing? What if? And I had to tell myself, okay, this is okay. You are doing what's right. You are back on track. It's not like you kept doing what you were doing on vacation. You changed immediately and you got right back on track. But the panic is still in the back of my mind. What if? I'm beating it down because there are no excuses. I'm going forward. But it's hard to not have that emotional upheaval. My other emotional battle this week was over the fact that my weight loss is so slow. It is kind of embarrassing to come on here week after week and be like, woohoo, I didn't lose anything, I maintained, or to come in and say, oh, I lost a whole half pound this month, woohoo. And I know in my head and in my heart that I am doing the right thing, I'm still losing, I'm still going down, it's just slow. I know that slow is better. I know that, but it is so difficult. It's embarrassing sometimes. And I really struggled with that this week. I wasn't thinking about the fact that for the first time in so long, probably my entire adult life, I feel like I'm at peace with the food that I'm eating. I'm doing a really good job. I'm at peace. This is a huge thing for a food addict, but I forget that. And I go for the emotional battle of, I want to do this fast. For a food addict, where I'm at is probably the best thing because that food addiction right now is under control. That is important. I am still going down, but the food addiction is under control. I'm going to have to keep beating this battle in my head over and over again. I want it to be fast. I want to lose two, three, four pounds a week. I'd be satisfied with one pound a week, but that's not what my body's doing. And as I am conquering the food addiction, it's going to be slower and that's okay. Even though my mind and my heart say it's not. 
it is okay. So I'm already worried about my way in. I'm already feeling depressed a little bit because it's going so slow. I already feel like a failure because I'm coming on here often and it's only a little bit of a weight loss or nothing. And then this happens. On Wednesday night, I went to bed and everything was fine. In the middle of the night, I kept waking up a gazillion times because my legs were cramping up. Now I know that there can be 5 million different reasons why my legs would be cramping up, but I know for me, when my legs cramp up, that means I did not drink enough water yesterday. <sighs> Lovely. I thought I did good. I drank my water before work on the way to work. I drank my water during work. Everything was good. I really wasn't thinking about anything. And once I woke up a couple times, I realized what I had done. I got home and I didn't drink anything the rest of the night. I actually know that when I went to bed, I was thirsty, but I was so tired, I didn't take the time to get a drink. So I did it to myself. I dehydrated myself. So now I'm even more worried about my weigh-in because now I've got a dehydration issue going on on top of my weigh-in tomorrow. I have no clue what's going to happen. Oh well. I thought on Thursday I did fabulous with my water. I drank my water. I was probably close to about 90 to 100 ounces of water. Everything was good. In fact, I drank so much water that I was up to pee at least three times in the middle of the night. And my legs still cramped up. What's up with this? I'm not happy. I'm going to keep pounding the water. Hopefully that clears out. And if it doesn't, I'm going to start looking online to see if there's any nutrients or minerals or vitamins that I need that I'm not getting. So today was weigh-in day. It is the end of my week and let's close this week out. So I stepped on the scale. As I said, I was quite nervous, but I stepped on the scale and I am happy to report this weight. So there you have it. I lost 1.4 pounds. I still have a half a pound left to lose to recoup my vacation gain. Doesn't bother me. I am still okay with what I did on vacation. It was well worth it. I accept that there will be these times. I accept it. I know it. It's worth it. This is life. So I'm all good with that. I am just hoping that by the end of October, I'm back to my pre-vacation weight. I can do this, right? So there are no excuses. Life happens. Get back on the bandwagon. The victory is not in never indulging. The victory isn't in never having a weight gain. The victory is in living your life and learning to step back into the journey that we are on. The victory for me is the fact that I came home from vacation and I immediately started to work on losing it. The victory for me is that I am losing it again. Am I still frustrated at times? Heck yeah. But it's all good. No excuses. Just work your journey.